Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild on the Leighton Lake District and you might be wondering what brings us up to this watchtower today. There has been a recent discovery that is actually at the top of this tower that a lot of people have been talking about and you probably will have heard of it by now especially if you are clicking on this video but this has recently been discovered here and this does not really fit with uh, this map at all. This is most likely the next clue towards the next map and it appears to be a gourd canteen which I did a little bit of research and it looks like these are used in Mexico, Africa, and Asia and what I seem to think that it is based off of kind of a few different things that I've put together whether it be species that are already in game versus stuff that have been requested quite a bit obviously there are the chances that it could be Africa or Asia but I think it's gonna be a Mexico map and the biggest reason why is because Mexico has a lot of species that are already in game so they could have their four or five reused species whatever they decide to do they almost always have at least four species that are reused from previous reserves and there's quite a few of them in Mexico so I feel like that already makes it so that's a likely candidate for a new map because we could have stuff like the bighorn sheep, white tail deer, mule deer, mountain lion, turkey, pronghorn, plains bison, black bear. There is a lot of species that are already in the game that could potentially be used on a reserve like this along with a bunch of new species that I have really been asking for for a very long time and hoping that they would eventually introduce to the game and we're gonna go through them in a minute but I just wanted to real quickly say that if you guys are brand new to the channel be sure to subscribe click the like button and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss a video I try to post daily videos or at least three to five of them a week so if you guys are enjoying this video or any of the other ones that I've put up be sure to subscribe also leave a comment down below with what reserve you think is going to be coming with the next update. I feel like it's got to be Mexico, but there's lots of options, so let me know what your thoughts are. But anyway, as we talk about what this new map could possibly be, I think what we'll do is hunt a little bit of whitetail. We haven't been out here in a little bit. It's been about a week since I set foot on Leighton to hunt some whitetail, so we'll take out a few of them as we talk. But the first thing that I wanted to go over species-wise is the coos deer. This is something I have wanted in-game for over a year at this point. Coos deer are a smaller subspecies of the whitetail if I remember correctly and they're primarily found in desert climate so it makes sense that they could be on a Mexico reserve and I think it would be pretty cool especially if they put whitetail on the map as well. Having whitetail and then their smaller subspecies the coos deer would just be really really awesome and I would probably hunt them maybe even more than the whitetail. My only hope for them is that they would give them a separate true rack from the whitetail because what they obviously could do is just use the whitetail antlers but make it so they don't get as big so I hope they give them different antlers and not just reuse these ones. So that is two bucks down right there. Let's go ahead and grab them real quickly. But as I was saying, the coup steer would be an awesome addition and I really hope they do end up doing that. It would easily be my favorite thing to hunt on the new reserve if they end up doing this. Now the next thing to go over is something that a lot of you guys have talked about and it, I do agree that it would be an amazing addition. This has been talked about for pretty much ever since turkeys were added to the game. There's been a lot of people requesting that this get put in. That is the oscillated turkey which is... Uh, very similar in, I guess, body shape to a normal turkey, but it's got feathers that look almost identical to a peacock. So they're very bright and colorful, almost like a rainbow. It's really, really cool. And I'd love to see those in the game. It would probably make them the main attraction of the map if I were to take a guess. It would most likely be the selling point of the map because it is such a cool and odd species. That is a decent buck out there, 250 meters away, upper estimate of 229. It's definitely going to make gold. Question is, how high is it going to be on that estimate? Hopefully both of those got hit good. Second one didn't, unfortunately. That shot looked to be pretty decent though. The next thing we have as a potential species is the pheasant. This is something that has been requested for years at this point. Ever since the game came out, people wondered why pheasant were not on Hirschfelden and why they weren't on maps like Silver Ridge Peaks, Leighton Lakes, uh, Tiawaroa. There's lots of maps that they could put the pheasant on, so it really blows my mind that we don't have them yet. 
but with the addition of dogs into the game recently, like within the last couple months, I think it's very possible that they start adding some of the upland species and pheasant would be an amazing start. It's by far the most requested upland bird and probably my favorite of all of them. I can just imagine how amazing it would be to find like an albino or a melanistic pheasant. They look really cool in the Hunter Classic and I can only imagine what they would look like in Call of the Wild. Next thing that could potentially be on there is the Javelina, which I don't know a ton about them. The only thing I really know is they were in the old Big Game Hunter video games and they look like a smaller version of a feral hog kind of, but they've got more of a pointy nose. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but I think they'd be a really cool addition. It would be pretty fun to have another type of small game because that's really what they are. They're a small game animal. They're very small compared to the feral pigs and wild boar. So it would be kind of cool to see them in the game, especially with them being something I remember from, I guess, all the hunting games I played in my childhood. Couple more decent bucks out there. Looks like we have three of them as far as I can tell. And we got a little straggler doe back there. Let's go ahead and get a shot off on these. Eh, take her out too since she's just going to stand there. And that buck right there ended up getting away. But I mean it is what it is. We'll come back and get him later. The next possible species that we could have are the brown and red brocket. They're a deer species that's very small similar to like a musk deer or a roe deer. Uh, again, I don't know too much about these guys, but they seem like they'd be a cool addition. I don't know how many people would actually hunt them just because they are smaller and probably wouldn't have too much variety in look, but I think they could be cool as an animal that maybe goes from levels one to three, similar to like a musk deer or a roe deer. It would, I guess, kind of ra round it out with every type of animal to hunt on the reserve. But since I don't really know too much about them, we'll just kind of breeze past that, but they do look like they could be cool and a pretty high possibility of being added if they do a Mexico map. But the last thing that I wanted to talk about is one that I think the majority of people would be super excited to see in the game. And that is the Barbary Sheep. If you guys have not seen these things before, they are absolutely amazing looking. Probably one of the coolest sheep species I've seen. Uh, there's a few others that are cooler looking I guess but these guys just look insane the way their horns are it looks like the other name for the Barbary sheep is like Owdad I think is the way it's pronounced it's A-O-U-D-A-D -D, so it's an interesting interesting uh, spelling I'm not exactly sure how that's pronounced but that seems to be their official name but it looks like uh, the easier way to say it is the Barbary sheep so yeah, I think they'd be really awesome. They kind of look like a mouflon if the horns were straight out to the sides and didn't curl quite as much. So they're pretty cool looking. But anyway, that brings us to the end of the species that I think could possibly be on the map. Uh, next, we're going to kind of talk about what weapon could be coming with it if we do get a Mexico map. I'm going to real quickly do a little bit of research and see what type of guns are commonly used in Mexico because I feel like that's what they do. If they add a new gun, it's going to be something that's used a lot in that area. That's what they did with Tiawaroa. They added a gun that is historic to New Zealand. So we're going to go ahead and take a quick look at what could possibly be used in Mexico. Honestly, after doing some research, I don't really see much online that tells you what are popular calibers and rifles used in Mexico so I guess it's really up in the air as to what it could be but I think if I were to take a guess 308 would be a no-brainer just because it's been requested so many times so many of us have wanted it with Tiaboroa and Silver Ridge Peaks but they just never added it so I feel like if they want to add a gun that a lot of people are gonna love 308 would be the no-brainer there and it would probably be my favorite rifle in the game if they do end up adding it but I've also heard people say that they're not gonna add it at all so it's hard to say I'd love a 308 but I don't know if we'll actually end up getting it let's go ahead and take this buck out here looked like a pretty decent shot there I guess another possibility for a gun they could add if there's going to be stuff like the brown and red brocket and the colored peccary, the javelina, if they do end up putting those types of species in, and I guess even the coos deer could be taken with this, I guess it would be possible we might see something like a 22 250 or maybe something like a 260, a little bit smaller caliber. 
but it's hard to say. I think 22250 would definitely be an option. I know a lot of people want that gun, especially people like DD33. He uh, recently talked about that actually, and I do think that would be a really good gun, especially for a map like this if there's a lot of smaller game. There is our little buck, just a small one, 130.40. So, let's go ahead and move on to the next zone that's in this area. Looks like we got two bucks over there. So, let's go ahead and jump in the stand and see if we can take these guys out. We're making pretty decent progress on the whitetail. Been recording for about 19 minutes at this point. And I'd say we've got probably eight to ten bucks down, which is not bad at all. It's actually pretty good. Honestly, it might even be a little bit less now that I think of it. Probably more like 6 to 8, but that's still not bad. Another thing that could also be a possibility is maybe we would finally see the first AR-15 or AR-10 style rifle. It would be so cool if we could get a 308 AR-10. I highly doubt that would be a thing, but it would be really cool if we could. I think this other option would be a little more likely, a 223 in the AR-15 platform, or possibly a new caliber being the 224 Valkyrie. It's a pretty new caliber, I don't know how many of you guys have heard of it, but it seems to be a pretty awesome round, and I would love it if they put a newer caliber like that in the game. It hasn't been out for all that long, so I don't think it would be a thing, but man, if they added that in, I would be so happy. I'd say the most likely one to be added if they do end up doing an AR would probably be just a basic 223 with a 5 round magazine, but it would at least be better than the current 223. Now the last thing that I want to real quickly talk about is if this map does end up being Mexico and they do put Whitetail on it, this could be a new map to grind the Great One on and probably a lot easier than Leighton Lakes. And honestly with the fixes that they've announced for the Great Ones and Whitetail Deer that will be coming out within a patch or two, I think it's likely that there will be Whitetail on the next map, so Mexico seems to be the only option out of the three possible places. I don't see Africa or Asia being possibilities, but I mean obviously they're possibilities, but I don't see them being the one that gets uh, actually chosen as the map. I feel like Mexico is going to be the one. It would make sense to have a new whitetail map, but as I was saying, it'll be a brand new map that we can grind the great one on, and I 100% will grind it on a Mexican map if they do decide to release that, because Leighton Lakes is just painful to grind whitetail sometimes. They're always in the brush, and sometimes they don't even drink out in areas that are open. It's so brushy you can't even see them most of the time in some of these zones, so it'd be really nice to be able to have a second map to grind them on. And I honestly think that if they do have Whitetail on a Mexico map, I would probably get the Great One a lot quicker than here on Leighton, because sometimes it's just extremely difficult to do anything with the Whitetail on Leighton. And I can only imagine how awesome it would be to see a Great One walking through like a desert climate of Mexico. I think it would be so cool to see. Especially since the Great One's just such a massive deer. To have that kind of desert backdrop would just look amazing in my opinion. Because whenever I think of like the old Cabela's games, I remember the desert mule deer being some of the most insane looking things ever on Outdoor Adventures 05. And to see a great one, which is, I guess, the equivalent in size to one of those big desert mule deer from that game, it would be just insane to see. But this video is getting a little bit on the long side, so let's go ahead and claim this guy and then we will probably wrap it up. But let me know what you guys think. Is this going to be a Mexico map with whitetail and coos deer and oscillated turkey and a bunch of other awesome new species along with some of the most loved species in Call of the Wild like the mule deer, the white tail, uh, the turkey and stuff like that. Or do you think it's going to be an Asia map or an Africa map? Obviously there could be high chances of any of those and we'll probably do a video on what I could want in an African reserve or an Asia reserve because we do currently have Verhonga Savannah which is an awesome map. But it's lacking a lot of species that everybody wants. So I'd say second most possible addition would be a new African map. So let me know if you guys want me to do a video talking about what I think should be on Africa 2. If that ends up being what they go with. But with that being said guys, thank you so much for watching. We're going to go ahead and end it there. But if you guys enjoyed, 
be sure to subscribe to the channel click like and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss a video also be sure to comment down below with your opinions on what the new map could be and i will try to respond to as many of them as i can but with that being said guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in the next video peace oh my gosh are you kidding me wow we just got cheated that could have been a diamond, but it was point 0.10 off.